Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been about a month since I posted anything, but I kind of wanted to do a quick update on the Ghostman Design Portal. I've had it on my holster, my ALS holster, for about a month now, and it's pretty rugged. It's, you know, hit, hit the center console in my patrol car several times. Still looks good. Uh, the only problem I have with it is that this thing, it's tightened down a lot and there's still some wiggle room for the firearm. Tighten it down. Even with it up, it's a little loose. One of the reasons why I did go, I went back to a molded holster because this one here I wore about for five years, this Fireline uh, 7 TS. Yeah, I, I didn't really like that, especially, you know, it felt like it was going to come out of my holster. So I went back to a molded, a thermal molded holster, the old school Safari Line holsters. And uh, yeah, I, I, because it did, didn't really move around when I tightened it up. Barking. Hold on. All right, sorry, the dog was barking. So, as I kind of mentioned, this one here is kind of tightened down, doesn't really move as much as this one does. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this out and put it in this holster here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera. I don't think you guys need to see me take it apart. I'm probably going to put the plastic. Thing back in here I haven't decided yet but um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart take this off and put it in here we're also going to do that little holster mod thing it does have one of those little I don't know if you can see it there's one of those little cones in the bottom but yeah so I'll be back with the Ghostman design portal out of this holster and going to try to once it's out of this holster everything's apart I'll come back all right so I took the holster apart this is the part that goes right here where the firearm sits on you'll notice that this is a lot bigger than what was in this holster yeah a lot bigger so but we are going to cut this little nub off because I don't like it. I understand why it's there, but I just don't like it. So now that we got that taken care of, kind of compare the two right here. This is what was in the holster. This is the Ghostman design. Looks almost the same. So we're going to put this in here. Just gonna have to stretch this apart. Now well, let's go off camera. So that's on there. Seems to be a much better fit. What was on there and how it was. So now we're gonna put this back on there. Whoops. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than
All right, well, I'm going to put this back together and uh, get back to you. So I got it back together. And this seems to be a better fit than it did with this holster right here. I did put that disc back in, but I don't think you really need it. But it seems to be a lot better fit. It seems to fit just as well. It's not a lot of play like it was before. So, and I took that little nut, that little cone out, so you can, I took that little cone out, stick the training weapon in there. So whenever you have to do training, you can now use the holster as a training holster. Just have the TRL one in there. Seems to fit pretty well. X300. Yeah. I have a feeling that the great the the Ghostman design is more designed for the red dot holsters. But we'll see where how it goes. Um, so I have been training with the holster. I do have a red dot I've been training with. I don't have a training, I don't have a red dot gun yet. Those have been ordered by the department. But as soon as it comes in, um, I plan on start using it. Hopefully, it'll come in in the next month or two. Uh, there's like a 90, 60 to ninety day wait for uh, department for Glock seventeen uh, MOS models. So, but yeah, I have been training with the this holster. Uh, I do like it, and uh, I just have a uh, I have a mount that goes on this right here. So on the uh, sites, you know what? Let me go get it and I'll show it to you real quick. So yeah, I'm, I'm using the Aimpoint Acro. I bought this back in 2020. Uh, really like it. You can, I've used it in uh, a couple of times at the range on department qualifications, did pretty well. It has a mount that you can buy from Aimpoint. I actually got the mount for free. I actually saw the mount on a website in Canada, and I actually emailed Aimpoint, and they said, hey, we'll just send you one. So they did give me the mount for free, and it's not bad if you just want to play around with it. Uh, you know, use it. It's zeroed in for, for this mount. It feels kind of for this height. It just... I know, I, I know the the Gen 5 MOSs are a little bit lower, but it does fit. Let me put the X300 on here. So, because the it sits back a lot farther back, because the dot is back a lot farther, it should be you can't get the hood to close but you know everything seems to to fit you know so I'm able to at least draw it and I know it'll fit the the uh, the this holster will fit the in point acro and there she goes barking again all right so life with a dog so i know i'll fit i put it on uh actually when i did that video with the i taped the aim point right <laughs> the acro right there with blue tape so i know i'll fit but yeah I, I have been using this holster but as far as the but i kind of want to touch base on the gray man design the ghost man design i'm sorry the ghost man design does seem to work pretty well with this holster. Not so much this holster. I am able to 
able not to move around as much as it, as it was. So rides in there pretty well, doesn't bounce around, kind of what I wanted it to do. But yeah, I think this is going to be, this is going to work for the red dot holsters. Um, I'll come back in a month, let you know how I, how it works. Cause I do, like I said, I do take the red dot with me to the range. I've been practicing with it because when we go in service with them, I want to be able to really know get do really well with it so uh, i think with this with with the non red dot sight holsters i'm just going to cut this part out and if this comes out this comes out anyways i hope you enjoyed the review and uh if you have any comments or questions let me know i'll get back in a month with the how i feel about the ghostman design portal like I said, I think I think this is going to work for this holster. All right guys. Take care. Be safe.